Tuesday, May 4th, and we are going to begin our math lesson today, Lesson 2, if you want to get your math book and materials. And we're going to be focusing today on shapes, not colors, but shapes. So we're going to be sorting today by shapes. So here we have um, five boxes. We have a triangle, circle, hexagon, square, rectangle. And down here we have a whole bunch of shapes. There's lots of variety of shapes down here. So what we're mostly going to be doing is looking at each one and deciding where, which category it would fit into the best. So we actually have a mix of solids and flats. So looking at this first one, we have a checkerboard. The checkerboard is in the shape of a square. So I'm going to move that and put it in this box. It also has a bunch of little squares. Then I see my happy face here is the shape of a circle. So I'm going to move that up here into this box. Then we're going to take a look at, hmm, how about we look at this one right here? Oh no, I'm sorry, we're going to skip that one. How about this one? We're going to, we see here this watermelon is the shape of what? If you guess triangle, we're going to put that here. The ones that are real obvious, I want to do first. And then we have this shape that you might think is a rectangle, but inside here are little tiny hexagons. This is a bee and the bee, um, the honey that the bee is making. And so we're going to move this and put it up here in hexagons because it's a bunch of little hexagons. And then right here we see this shape right here is the shape of a rectangle. So we're gonna move that up here and put it here. Now as we take a look at these other shapes, what are they closest to? So we see here this shape is a, um, a pizza. So we're using real objects, real items and the pizza is in the shape of a circle, so that would go up here also in our box. Now this here is a cube, but on the front we see the shape of a square, and all around the cube it has six squares. So we're going to go ahead and move that into the square box. Here is a picture of a cone. Again, this is a three-dimensional shape along with this party hat. These are both cones. So usually we would not put them anywhere, but since we're sorting all of the shapes today, where do you think that they would go if you were to sort them? Hmm, think about that for just a moment. And if you guessed that the cone would go up here with the triangle, that would be correct because it's the shape of a triangle and the party hat. So we're going to put those up here. Even though they're not triangles, they're cones, but they are shaped also like a triangle. And then this is a tricky one because this soccer ball is like a circle. It's a ball, a three-dimensional shape, but it has hexagons on it. It has the shape of a hexagon. So we're going to actually move that up here into our hexagon box. And we have our dice, which is going to go here into where the squares are because it has six sides that are squares. And this last one is the shape of a rectangle. So that's going to go here. And I can assure you that our math lesson today is going to be a little bit easier than that. So now if you want to open up your math books and turn to page 501, and we are classifying and counting by shapes today. So just like we did yesterday for color, now we're doing shapes. So it says choose a shape to draw. So I decided I am going to pick, whoops, Sorry about that. I'm going to pick a, let's see, um, 
you can use a pencil or you can use a crayon to do this, but we're going to go ahead and draw a circle. And it doesn't matter what color, because remember, we are classifying counting by shapes today. Shapes is very important. So we're doing circles. So over here is not a circle. So I'm going to draw another circle there because we're doing circles and not circles. So now it doesn't matter what colors you use. You can use one color, different colors, it doesn't matter. And we're just going to practice drawing circles. So we're going to draw different size circles. So let's draw a tiny circle. Then let's draw a big circle. And then maybe a medium sized circle. Because again, we're focusing on the shape of the circle because today is shapes. Now, not a circle. So that means over on this side, you have to draw shapes that are not circles. So we could do a triangle. Go ahead and draw a triangle. You can draw a square. And a rectangle, as long as you don't draw a circle, because these are not circles. <clears throat> and then when you're ready, you can move on to the next page. Go ahead and turn to the back, and it looks like this. And now what we're going to do is to place the shapes shown up above. So what I'm going to do is as we move them or as we draw them, we'll cross them out so we don't lose track of what we've already done. So you will need to have a green, red, blue, and yellow crayon. So we're going to start with our circle today. So we look up here and we find all the circles. There's only one and it's blue. So I'm going to get my blue crayon and you should also get your blue crayon and you're going to come over here and you're going to draw that circle. And we are going to color it just so that we are keeping track of our shapes. So we have our blue and then I'm just going to cross it out because we already did that one. <clears throat> now we're taking a look at squares. Okay, look at all the shapes and what squares do you see? Oh, I see only one yellow. So we're going to now come over and just draw one yellow square and color it in like this. And then if you want, you can cross that out. Whoop. Okay. And then we have our triangle. So we look up above and it looks like we have a green triangle and a red triangle. So we have to put both of those triangles down here. And the reason for this, the reason they're different colors is so that you can understand that we're not focusing on colors. It doesn't matter what color they are. If they are both triangles, they both belong in the triangle box. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my red one first, and I'm going to draw my red triangle here. So take your red crayon and do the same and draw a red triangle. Beautiful. And cross it out. And then we need green for our green triangle. So pick up your green crayon. And now you're going to draw a green triangle and try to do the same as what they have. They're showing there. It's a little tricky. Uh oh. And then fill it in and cross it out. Okay, last is our rectangle. And we have a red rectangle, blue rectangle, and another red one. So we're going to go back and get our red first. Take your red crayon, and now you're going to draw the two red rectangles. There's one. Fill it in. There's two. Oops. Fill it in. Uh-oh. Mine's a little fat. And cross them out, friends, just like that. And now we have to do a blue one. So now I'm going to get my blue crayon. And do a blue rectangle. Oh, I hope you have more room than I do. And that's what it should look like. Okay, and we can cross that out. Now, we're going to use this page to do the next page, just like we did yesterday. So, taking a look at this and using this. So, the directions for this page says, 
Look at the categories of shapes in exercise one. Look at these. And now count how many are in each category. So it says, all right, how many just have one? So look here. Circle has one shape. The square has one shape. The triangle and the rectangle do not. So the circle and the square. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to circle the circle and the square. And so how many is that? One, two. So there are two shapes, the circle and the square, that have only one shape in them. That gets a little tricky. Now, which one has two? Which has two? Go back, look at this page. Is it this one, this one, this? Oh, it must be the triangle. Let's see, one, two, exactly. The triangle is the only one that has two shapes. So go back to this page, and we're just going to circle the triangle. And how many is that? One. And write the number one. We have one more that has the number three. We go back, and we see there's only one shape left that has three shapes in it, and that's the rectangle. The rectangle has three shapes. So we're going to go back to this page, find the rectangle. Oh, here it is. We circle it, and there's only one. So now repeat after me. I have two shapes that have one shape in the box. Two shapes that have one shape in the box. I have one shape, the triangle that has one shape in the box. I'm sorry, <laughs> my triangle, sorry, my triangle has two shapes. If we go back and we look, we see there's two shapes here. See, I got tongue tied. The triangle is the only one that has two shapes in the box. And last, my rectangle has three shapes in the box. Now we're gonna move on to the very last page looks like this, and this should look a lot, again, like what we did yesterday. It says, Brandon used his shapes. How did he sort and classify his shapes? Draw one more shape in each category. So if you look up here, what shapes do you see? Don't worry about color, friends. Just focus on the shape. What shape do you see? If you said square, that is correct. So we're just going to draw one more. So we're going to draw another square. And remember, this is a square also. It's just turned sideways. Now look over here. Hmm, it's a little trickier. I see triangles. I see rectangles. And I see circles. But there are no squares, so we cannot draw a square. All the squares are over here. There are no squares. So we can only draw the shapes that we see here which would be a circle, a rectangle, or a triangle. Since we only have one circle, I think I'm just going to draw another circle right here. Then down at the bottom again, like yesterday, and I'm going to instruct you to do this. Using the same shapes, draw to show what you know. So I would like you to pick one shape, circle, square, rectangle, or circle, circle, square, rectangle, or triangle, and draw all those shapes here. How about if I do that with you today? Since we did circles on the first page, I don't want to do circles again. And squares are kind of hard for me. So I think we should do triangles. So we're just going to do triangles. There's one triangle, and then we're going to do a big triangle, and then how about a little baby triangle? And then you can color these any color you want. You can color yellow. And I think I'll color this one yellow. You can color it red, color this one red, or you can color them blue. Doesn't matter. Remember, we're sorting by shape today, and all of them on this side are triangles. Now I want you to do the other side without me, all by yourself, and either do circles, squares, 
or rectangles, and you can do them any color that you want, as long as they are all the same shape. And that concludes our lesson today, Lesson 2, Chapter 12 for Math, All on Shapes. So I hope you had fun putting those shapes in the different categories, and I will see you tomorrow with our next group to categorize. Have a great Tuesday. Bye-bye.